Welcome to Baddest Ballers. Please be sure to subscribe for more NBA analysis and content. Often in the NBA, we talk about duos, we talk about the best duos, different types of duos which are more effective, wings versus like a big and a smaller player, and the impact that has on your odds of winning a championship. Today, we're going to do something a little bit different, and we're going to look at the best duos in the NBA right now of the same position, ages 30 and under, and see what that looks like. At the one spot, literally, we have Tim Hardaway Jr. and Seth Curry. While both of these players are likely more known for being related to NBA royalty than their own on-court contributions, Tim Hardaway Jr. and Seth Curry have both developed into productive NBA players in their own right. At 6'2", 185, Seth is certainly not a large guard, but does play minutes at both guard spots due to his scoring ability. However, he has shown he has the quickness and shooting touch to meaningfully contribute to an NBA roster whenever given more minutes to display his talents. Though he will never be a superstar like his big brother Steph, Seth will be a force to be reckoned with as his role within the offense grows. Tim Hardaway Jr., while bigger than his teammate Seth, is also a bit undersized for the two spot. Tim does have elite handles and a reliable three-point shot. Hardaway is the more consistent of the pair and has shown steady growth with each passing season. Between himself and Seth, the Mavericks clearly have an excellent backcourt to complement their superstar, Luka. At the two spot is Clay Thompson and Andrew Wiggins. Clay Thompson clearly needs no introduction as arguably one of the best pure shooters in NBA history and a reliable defender of multiple positions. Though his game may have been accentuated somewhat playing next to Steph Curry, Clay would clearly be a positive on both ends of the floor for just about any NBA team. Andrew Wiggins has not been the consistent contributor that Clay has, but he is a talented scorer and athletic freak. Also, at just 25, unlike Clay, he is likely just entering his prime and may yet round out his game. Clay's future with the Golden State Warriors is hardly in question, but a much larger question mark surrounds Wiggins. Should they opt to keep both players, the Golden State Warriors will have some offensive versatility at that position for some time to come. At the three spot, we have Paul George and Kawhi Leonard. Probably of the duos listed, this duo has the honor of being the best collectively, being the best fifth with each other, and being the most similar with regards to how they play. Kawhi and George are both defensive-minded wings that are capable of creating their own shot whenever they want to. Kawhi is a bit better at both ends of the floor with better defensive instincts and a more reliable jump shot. Paul, on the other hand, relies on his lateral quickness and length on the defensive end to get stops and relies less on the mid-range jumper than his teammate. To be sure, they have great pieces around them, but even with inferior teammates, this duo could elevate any squad to relevance. At the four spot, we have Brandon Ingram and Zion Williamson. This young and ever-improving duo both bring so much to the table that their growth together will almost certainly elevate their team significantly in the coming years. Brandon Ingram, after having some consistency issues during his tenure in LA, has shown that he has both the tools and work ethic to contribute meaningfully on a consistent basis for the Pelicans. His improvement shooting threes and free throws took his game to another level, and at 22, still has tremendous upside. For Zion Williamson, he is a prospect with so much upside, it's almost impossible not to get giddy at the prospect. His otherworldly athleticism and size makes up for any height or length deficiencies, and defenses are still figuring out how to effectively stop him. Assuming both players can stay healthy, they will be a scary tandem for opposing teams for years to come. And lastly, at the five spot, we have Miles Turner and DeMontis Sabonis. 
While the twin tower strategy of playing essentially two centers simultaneously is considered a tactic of yesteryear, Miles and Sabonis are a potentially scary duo, both standing at 6'11 with effective inside games. Though some disagree that this pair necessarily works well as a tandem together, if nothing else, Miles and Sabonis have the ability to constantly provide an inside threat against opposing defenses if swapped throughout the game. Thank you guys so much for watching, and for making it this far through the video, I'm going to throw in an honorable mention, Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. Though I omitted this duo as they cannot justifiably be called a better duo at the three spot than Paul and Kawhi, it would seem almost egregious not to mention this talented young pair. Jason and Jalen are essentially the next generation of Kawhi and Paul, embodying the ability to switch off on multiple positions and be effective on both ends of the court. While the Celtics certainly have a good all-around squad, this is the duo that acts as the necessary core. Thank you so much for watching. Please hit that thumbs up button and remember to subscribe for more content like this. Hit the link in the description to check out our podcast, and if you're able, please support on Patreon. Thank you again, and stay ballin'.